Hi, first graders. Welcome to Lesson 26, Spelling. You'll notice that there isn't a new sound spelling card up on the wall um, because this week you don't have a new spelling to learn. You have um, a way to change words. That's what we're going to be practicing this week. So this week we're going to be talking about something called inflectional endings. And if you look at the screen here, I've got two inflectional endings. I've got I-N-G and E-D. Now those inflectional endings go at the end of a base word and they change the meaning. So our inflectional ending ing, when it goes at the end of a word, it means it's happening right now. Where the inflectional ending ed means that it happened in the past. So before you can add an inflectional ending, there are a couple of rules that you need to know. And that's what you're gonna be practicing this week. So if you look at your screen, you'll see these base words that I have here for you. Some of them end in bossies, which have a rule before you can add an ending, and some of them end with consonants, which have a separate rule before you can add an inflectional ending. So we are going to practice uh, the rule with some bossy words first. When you have a base word like this word here, b -I -K, bike, when you have a base word that ends in a bossy e, before you can add the inflectional ending, you need to drop the e. So if my base word is bike, before I can turn it into the word biking, bike, oops, bike, I'm going to drop the E and then I'll add I-N-G, biking. This word is wave, wave. Before I can add the inflectional ending, I'm going to drop that bossy E and then add I-N-G to make waving. Same with our inflectional ending ed. So here's my base word, sk -ate, skate. Before I can add the inflectional ending, I'm going to drop the e and then add ed to make skated. I skated yesterday. Our second uh, base word with the inflectional ending ed is use. Y use, use. Um, before you can add the inflectional ending, you're going to drop the E and then add ED. So the rule to remember, words that end in bossy E, you drop the E before you can add an ending. Now over on this side, we've got some base words that end in a single consonant. When you've got a word that has just one consonant at the end, you're going to double it, double that consonant. So here's our base word, r un, run. If I want to change it to running, run, I'm going to double that consonant and then add my ending, I-N-G, and there's running. Here's our next example, hug, hug. If I want to turn it into hugging, I'm going to double that final consonant and add I-N-G. Now we can try one with the inflectional ending E-D. Here's my base word, hop, hop. If I want to change hop to hopped, there's one consonant at the end of this word. I'm going to double it and then add my inflectional ending ed. Now, if you look at this next word, j -ump, jump, jump ends in two consonants. When you have two consonants at the end of a word, you don't have to do anything. You can just add the ending. So I've got j -ump. If I want to turn, turn that into jumped, it's already got two consonants, so I'm just going to add ed. Those are the two rules that you're going to be practicing this week. Um, for spelling, adding the inflectional endings, ing and ed. You'll need to know what to do if the base word ends in that silent e, that bossy e, or if it ends in one consonant. So those are the rules that you're going to practice. Good luck. And I hope you do really well on your spelling free test. Bye.